Don't know if it's out where you are, but I do recommend seeing Predestination. Any chance you've seen Predestination yet, Chris? You should check out another great Aussie film from this year, Predestination. If you haven't reviewed Predestination, could you please review? Dude, you never do a review of a movie I want. Please, can you review Predestination? Predestination. 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 Have you seen Predestination yet? Predestination. 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 I've heard your request to review Predestination. I shall definitely check it out. Predestination. 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 Predestination stars Ethan Hawke and Sarah Snook and is a film about, hmm, that's, that's, uh, that's a little hard to sum up. Essentially, Ethan Hawke's character works for an organization that's able to leap through time to cause catastrophes from happening. In one particular part of time, Ethan Hawke plays a barkeep, and someone walks in and begins to describe their life story to him. And we see their life story in the past, and then some serious mind-bending stuff happens. I'm talking confusing stuff. And it's awesome. I kind of sort of loved Predestination. This is such a different movie and a really awesome sci-fi movie. It's directed by the people who brought us Daybreakers, also starring Ethan Hawke, which I thought kind of flew under the radar and wasn't too bad of a movie. This movie, however, is considerably better and goes in a lot of really strange places that I don't want to spoil for you guys, which is good because I don't even know if I can fully explain it. <laughs> One of the things that I loved about this movie were the performances. Ethan Hawke is terrific. He always makes interesting choices, except for Getaway. I don't know about that one, but you know, uh, Boyhood and the before Sunrise movies and that's all good, but I don't get away. I, I don't know what happened there. I do love him as an actor though and he was fantastic in the movie, but the standout is Sarah Snook. She was so good and this is like a star making turn for her. You can't take your eyes off this girl. I don't want to spoil the twisty turn aspects of her character. If you don't know anything about her character, just go into the movie and watch it. I think you'll be really surprised because for me I was just like, "Whoa, that's something. That's uh hmm. Yeah." It's the kind of movie that's so intriguing and sets up a plot that is so interesting that you just want to know about it. And then once it ends, you're like, I still am intrigued. I still want to know about it. And you start doing research and you start sifting through message boards and all kinds of forums. And you really just want to talk about this movie with other people to see if they've had the same experience with it that you have. It's the kind of movie like that where it just makes you want to know more and it makes you want to learn about its world and it makes you want to investigate the different metaphors and the hidden meanings and the images and all types of things like that that are all throughout predestination that make you realize this is a lot more of a cerebral experience than you were planning to have with this movie because I went into it thinking, okay, Ethan Hawke, Daybreakers filmmakers, it's going to be a fun sci-fi movie. What the hell? The action looks great. It's all filmed very well. But for me, the thing that I loved about this movie was the conversation between Ethan Hawke as the barkeep and Sarah Snook as the person who comes in and starts to talk with him. That entire conversation and that entire second act, which is like the whole... Almost entirely the first and second act. There's a little bit before it that, that sets up the world. But that whole sequence I found enthralling and riveting. I actually wish that that is how the movie started though. I wish that from scene one it was Sarah Snook's character walking in and then discussing things with him. They do a lot of world building before that that I found was rather unnecessary. Yes, in the long run it is to help you decipher things that happen towards the end. But as a film, I feel like there was a way they could have just had it open. Scene one, where this character walks into the bar, and you're like, okay, because that would have been just, just riveting, like instantly, because it was so well done. And that's one of my only flaws with the movie. I found the film riveting. It's mind-bending. It really makes you think. It makes you want to watch more. And it's one of the best January movies ever. If you have a chance to go see Predestination, definitely seek it out. I'm going to give Predestination an A-. minus. So between this and Selma, there actually are some pretty cool things you can see this January. 
what do you know? Now guys, if you saw my review for Selma, I mentioned something really awesome and that is that I'm planning a new segment. It's gonna be a segment entirely about things that have inspired me over the years. I'm thinking the title is gonna be Retro Rewind. It'll be segments about one particular thing. It could be a book series, it could be a TV show, a movie, a game, anything really that impacted me as a lover of entertainment or as a film critic or as a writer or as a person. And my first episode is gonna be up in a few weeks and it's gonna be entirely about Toonami, Cartoon Network and now Adult Swim's programming block that basically championed and helped make anime famous in the late 90s. I have an awesome celebrity guest that's gonna be involved with the video and I still can't believe he agreed to it. I'm fanboying out in every possible way. I can't wait to share it with you guys and I'm hoping you enjoy it. It'll be up in a few weeks. It's gonna be called probably Toonami Retro Rewind, something along those lines and I hope you like it. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Definitely check out Predestination. It's way better than anything in the January release date so far, that's for sure. And as always guys, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.